Well, hi everyone. Welcome to NAB 2015. Now, since it began, this show has always been about innovation. What you're about to witness here on the NAB show floor is true editing in the cloud using Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, since we launched A-Frame in 2010, we've always had a dream of seeing the advent of true, no download, full cloud editing. Now, now with our major integration with Adobe Anywhere, we believe that we've taken a significant step to making this dream a reality. I don't know if you guys are even half as excited as we are about the technology and the possibilities that it creates, then you can tweet about it using the hashtag TrueCloudEditing. But now, let's go ahead and get on with the demo. Now, today we're going to be recutting a promo kindly lent to us by Vice Media for their show, Keep It Canada, starring Maddie Matheson using media stored in our New York City data center. Bruce, let's go ahead and roll that footage. All right. So the content is really great, but I want to recut the promo for a new campaign. Now, in order to do this, I need to have access to the original media, which would typically mean that I need to ship drives. I need to copy large files from point to point, right? Well, today we're going to be able to edit, conform, and export the sequence using Adobe Premiere Pro in its original source resolution, all without having to store the original files locally. All I need is my MacBook and an internet connection. Don't need to build a thing. Now, this is made possible by a truly unique collaboration between A-Frame and Adobe that we call Adobe Anywhere in the Cloud, delivered by A-Frame. Now, if you're not familiar with us, what A-Frame does, we're the video collaboration platform in the cloud. We provide one simple place where content producers can see, can access, and collaborate on their high-resolution, broadcast-ready video assets right out of their web browser. So A-Frame owns and operates its own cloud with data centers housed in top-tier colos in New York, in London, and in Los Angeles, all interlinked by networking equipment exclusively for the use of our customers. By adding Adobe's Collaboration Hub and Mercury Streaming Engine to our cloud platform, we've been able to unlock a full end-to-end -end professional production workflow, all without having to move large files around all over the place. Now, this means no big system to deploy and maintain on-premises, and no ongoing support and maintenance cost to provision a service. Just one login, the web browser that you always use, and an edit system that you understand and that you rely on. Now we're going to start the post-production process in A-Frame. So here we're looking at all of the clips in the project. Each thumbnail represents the high-resolution asset stored on A-Frame's server. So we can handle a wide range of broadcast formats with unlimited file size on upload. You can feel confident that whatever you have to throw at us, A-Frame can deal with it. All right, today we're going to be accessing content in our New York City data center. So Bruce, let's go ahead and open up a few clips in the player. Let's take a better look at them. Now my selection plays back immediately. There's no, uh, don't need to wait around for the video to load. Have a number of tools available that I can add time code specific metadata. Now these are gonna show up as markers when I move to the edit in Adobe Premiere Pro. You can see that my colleagues have already added a number of markers to the clip and I can click on any of these. I'll be delivered to the exact frame in the footage. Right, let's go ahead and add a marker of our own to the clip. Here, better. All right. I can type. Great. All right, so as we begin playing back my selection, I can use the playlist tool to discard any shots that I don't need. And what I'm doing here is essentially I'm building a pick list or a shot list for the edit. Now, I've got a meaningful set of clips all marked up and selected. I want to create a collection for them to live in. So collections are like top-level tags for your media with help you to group assets together and to find them later. You can also tie workflows to your collection, so they're a pretty powerful concept. All right, let's go ahead and jump to the newly created collection. And you can see that the grid refreshes to show only the clips that I've added. I've not duplicated any media. Single clip can have many associated collection memberships. And I can give the collection a description, which will help to communicate its purpose to my collaborators, both on A-Frame and in the edit in Premiere Pro. Now, in an ideal world, you just want to push a button. You want to see all this work get sent to the edit, right? It's exactly what our Adobe Anywhere integration does. It links the A-Frame collection to the Adobe Anywhere production. So having done our initial shot selection, Bruce, let's go ahead and switch over from A-Frame to Adobe Premiere Pro. 
Now when the Adobe Premiere Pro welcome screen loads, I just use my standard A-frame credentials to log into Adobe Anywhere. My productions are returned in a list with access rights determined by the permissions of my A-frame project. Now here you can see this is the project that we just created, right? Just did that in A-frame. And when I open the Anywhere production, I have immediate access to the clips that I added in the A-frame collection in my Adobe Premiere bin. So if I open up one of those clips in the source monitor, I can play it back immediately. This is made possible by Adobe Anywhere's Mercury Streaming Engine, which delivers me a streaming copy of the original media securely delivered over an encrypted connection. The bit rate of the stream adjusts to my available bandwidth. So the greater the bandwidth, the higher the quality. All right, so I just want to repeat to you that this stream is being delivered from the A-Frame stack back in New York City where the original media is stored. It's over 2,500 miles away. All right, let's go ahead and drop some clips on the timeline. Now, as I build up my sequence, I can add transitions. Mercury Streaming Engine generates a live streaming preview of the sequence with all of the compositing done on the server side. Now the preview renders in real time and the status of the render bar is indicated by the colored bar which sits at the top of the timeline. So now that I'm up and running in the edit using Adobe Premiere Pro, working remotely and securely using footage stored on the A-Frame Broadcast Cloud. As assets are added and metadata is gathered, it's important to note that we keep these two environments in sync. All right, that is exactly why we built in the logic to simply update the editor's bin in Premiere Pro when new assets or markers are made available in A-Frame. Now to demonstrate this, let's go ahead and add a new clip to the collection back in A-Frame. Yeah, All right, good. great. And why don't we go ahead and add in a, new, a comment here, Bruce. That will appear as a marker in Premiere Pro. Now you'll notice that the updates available icon back in Premiere Pro will become illuminated. Wait a second. There we go, right down here. All right, that lets you know that there's changes to pull. So I click on this, my bin updates to bring in the latest clips added from the A-Frame collection. Now that means that contributors globally can be making content available to me as they capture it, which is a world away from waiting for the asset to get back to base before editing. All of the markers that you saw in A-Frame have come across into Premiere Pro, so I can easily find key points of interest in the footage. A seamless integration means that an A-Frame comment is an Adobe Premiere Pro marker. Now, in a typical production, clip metadata is constantly being updated as the team collaborates and intelligence around the asset grows. Now, it is crucial that everyone can benefit from the most up-to-date view of the clip metadata, the information that powers informed editorial decision-making. Now, as you can see, Bruce has added a marker in Premiere Pro. And you'll see when Bruce switches back to A-Frame, the marker is already available to the rest of the project team. Now, the sync is bi-directional. So when I add a comment or a log note in A-Frame, it immediately updates the list of available clip markers in the Adobe Anywhere production. Again, the changes available icon is illuminated just as it was earlier when I added the clip to the collection. Okay. When I click it, I'll get the new marker added to the clip in A-Frame. And this means that my team can be logging, adding notes, and time code based feedback from anywhere in the world. And I, as the editor, will always benefit from the intelligence built around the asset on an ongoing basis. All right, let's go ahead and switch over to the promo edit that we showed you at the beginning of the demo. And we're going to recut it. All right. Can I open it up? Yep. And there we go. There's clips. I'm going to find the master. If I can type. Mm -hmm. There we go. All right. There it is. Let's get our pin. I'll clear that out so you can see the head frames. Okay, okay. Now there's got several different sequences and titles sitting over the top. Bruce is going to change the sequence. He's going to sub out uh, one of the shots. He's going to change out an effect on there as well. Yeah, and I, I'm, I'm, I've been picking this shot this morning. So there's a shot of Maddie, and he's pulling up his shirt. So I'm going to put a piece of meat in there since it's a different piece of meat. Then we'll go there. Now I'll go back in. I'm just going to go. I love this feature. And I'm just going to replace the source monitor. And then put it in. And in real time, there's the meat shot. And it goes in. I'm going to go down here. And uh, I like to see this one 
in black and white for my ending. So I'm going to go find my uh, filter. I'm going to put a color filter on there, a real-time color filter on the timeline. It'll go there. It'll think about it for a sec. It'll render. There it is, in black and white. So I go back, make sure it's all playing through. And uh, we're good. All right, guys, and I just want to remind you that this footage is being securely streamed from the original media, stored on our A-Frame Anywhere stack, which is back in New York City. All right, so when we make a change to the sequence, the Mercury streaming engine begins compositing the elements on the server, delivering us a stream of the resulting video. Bruce a second there to catch up. Yep. All right, you all set? Yep, absolutely. All right, great. So you guys thought you want to roll a clip? Okay. Uh, I played it back. Okay. I streamed it back. All right, guys, so it's looking pretty good. I want to share it with the production team, or maybe I want to send it to a client for approval. With Adobe Anywhere in the Cloud delivered by A-Frame, it is incredibly simple to author changes back to the project and to my collaborators. So not only that, but because the high-resolution assets reside on A-Frame, when I click export, I'm essentially conforming back to the master media. The finished master will be deposited back on the A-Frame server at full resolution. With A-Frame and Adobe's combined solution, there's no comp compromise on quality. You create the final piece based on the master, not a proxy, not a mezzanine file. Now you can conform back to the master media and export in AVC Intro 100. You can do an XD Cam, DNX, DVC Pro, the list really does go on. Now this is a full broadcast edit workflow in the cloud with the master media at its core and no compromise on quality. Once the export completes, my sequence is automatically delivered to the A-Frame project so that I can easily share it with the rest of the project team. Back in the A-Frame project, here's a sequence that I just exported from Adobe Premiere Pro. Just like all of the other assets, we transcode an H.264 web proxy of the original media file for playback in the browser. All right, we're going to share this clip with someone. We just got, got an email at the beginning of the show, and we're going to send it to that person utilizing A-Frame's Share It feature. And you'll notice that Bruce can enable download of the original asset as well as the proxy with final review. You can send the completed full resolution master. Any team member with the correct uh, permissions can download the master original from the project. Now, this is not just a tool for proxy review, but it's also a powerful distribution platform making full resolution co broadcast content available to disperse teams, to partners, and to affiliates. All of this only possible because of the power of the infrastructure which underprints the A-Frame platform. So today we've shown you true editing in the cloud utilizing Adobe Premiere Pro made possible by A-Frame's powerful cloud platform. A-Frame gives you the power to search, to see, and to use your assets from any location. Now with our unique integration with Adobe Anywhere, we can also provide a complete end-to-end -end system to gather, to edit, to conform, to transcode, to review, to approve, and to distribute all in the cloud. You can reversion finished masters for international markets, you can run compliance edits, and you can build promotional campaigns without having to build or to maintain any infrastructure to support it. So imagine the workflows that are possible, all utilizing Adobe Anywhere in the Cloud delivered by A-Frame. Now, if you want to tweet about what you've seen here today at the A-Frame booth, then please use the hashtag TrueCloudEditing. And you, folks, we do have ability to have a one-on-one -on -one demo here today. If you want to get more specific with this information right over here, just step over to one of the demo pods. Also, you can visit us at aframe.com. If we didn't get a chance to scan your batch, please see Stuart right over there. He'll take care of that for you. Um, also have Simon in the back. And Bruce, let's run the footage one more time. <laughs> Thank you all so much for joining us today here at A-Frame. Let us know if we can answer any questions at all. Enjoy the rest of NAB, everyone. Bye-bye.